Mashallah. Whenever you ask this question, and I like to ask this question to the Muslims here, that who do you love the most in this world? Who do you love the most in this world? Allah. Mashallah. 100% correct. There is no price for that. Simple question, simple answer. When you ask any Muslim, who do you love the most? His answer would be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ask any Muslim from any part of the world, who do you love the most? His answer would be Allah. Do we love Allah more than our mother? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, yes mashallah. Do you love Allah more than your father? Yes. yes. Do you love Allah more than your sons? Yes. yes. Do you love Allah more than your wife? More than your husband? More than your husband? You ask any Muslim and the answer would be same. We love Allah the most in the world. We love Allah more than our mother, more than our father, more than our sons, more than our wives, more than our husband. The answer is the same. We say it, Wallah. But do we actually mean it? I'd like to ask you a simple question again. That suppose one day in the morning, you leave your house and go to office for work. And when you're away from home, your neighbor he abuses your mother. He uses foul language against your mother. When you come back home and when you come to know that your neighbor has abused your mother, verbal abuse, has used foul language against your mother, what will you do? What will you do? What will you do? Banjim, what will you do? Kill him! MashaAllah. One person wants to punch him, one person wants to hit him, one person wants to kill him. See, I do agree, we love our mother. If anyone abuses a mother unnecessarily, without any rhyme or reason, uses foul language against a mother, I do agree, someone would like to hit him, someone would like to punch him, someone would like to kill him. It is human nature. Why? Because we love our mother. How dare someone abuses my mother? And believe me, if you cannot do it yourself, what will you do? You will hire someone else to do the job. But you will teach him a lesson. Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because we love our mother. If someone abuses our mother, he uses foul language against your mother. You will teach him a lesson. Either you will punch him or you will hit him. If you cannot do it yourself, you will hire someone else to do the job. But you will teach him a lesson. Yes or no? Yes. Mashallah. Why? Because we love our mother. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, verse number 88 to 90, Allah says, وَقَالُ التَّقْزُ الرَّحْمَانُ وَلَدَى They say that Allah most gracious has begotten a son. لَقَدْ جِيتُمْ شَيْيًا إِدَّا Indeed, they have put forth a thing most monstrous. If anyone says that Allah has begotten a son, it is the biggest abuse you can give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is crying in the Quran that if anyone says Allah has begotten a son, it is the most heinous sin you can do. If the sky had feelings, the sky would have burst open. The earth would have split open. And the mountains would have fallen down to utter ruin. Allah says that if the sky had feelings, and if someone would have said that Allah has begotten a son, the sky would have burst open, the earth would have split open, and the mountains would have fallen to utter ruin. But to us Muslims, believe me, it makes no difference. Every day, our non-Muslim friends, our non-Muslim colleagues, our non-Muslim neighbors, they are abusing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are saying that Allah has begotten a son, and we Muslims, we can't even open our mouth. We say, we love Allah more than our mother, more than our father, more than our wife. We say it, but do we mean it? Every day. You go to school, you go to colleges, you go to universities, you go to place of work, you go to your offices. Every day, our non-Muslim brothers, our Hindu brothers and sisters, our Christian brothers and sisters, they are saying that Allah has begotten a son and we can't even open our mouth. We say we love Allah more than our mothers, more than our fathers. Someone wants to abuse your mother, 
you want to punch him you want to hit him you want to kill him every day our non muslim colleagues our non muslim friends they are abusing allah subhanahu wa taala they are saying that allah has begotten a son and we can't even open our mouth i am not telling that you should punch him i am not telling that you should hit him i am not saying that you should fight him i am not saying that you should kill him at least open your mouth when you say you love allah more than your mother more than your father someone abuses a mother you want to hire someone else to do the job when they abusing our allah subhanahu wa taala don't fight them don't hit them at least open your mouth every day leave aside opening our mouth we are afraid to even talk to them all of us muslim know very well when we go for parties if you go to a party called by a hindu friend and if he's having some puja or gives a prasad you know prasad means the food they give to the deity to the idol if they offer to the muslim almost all the muslims know that eating prasad is haram why allah says in no less than four different places in surah baqara chapter number 2 verse number 173 in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 3 in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 145 and surah nahl chapter number 16 verse number 115 hurrimat alaykumul maytu wa daddamu wa lahumul kinzir wa ma uhilla li ghayri allah bi forbidden for you for food ah dead meat blood the flesh of swine and any food on which any name besides allah's name is taken all of us muslims know very well that to eat the food on which any name besides allah's name is taken it is a sin but when the hindus offer you prasad you feel bad to refuse it so what do you do you say bismillah and have it tomorrow you will say bismillah and have alcohol day after tomorrow you will say bismillah and have pork what's happened to the muslim umma we can't even open our mouth i'm not telling fight them at least open your mouth allah says in the quran in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 108 revile not those abuse not those who they worship besides allah lest in their ignorance they will abuse allah subhanahu wa taala we cannot abuse we cannot criticize we cannot speak bad about those who they worship those things they worship besides allah lest in their ignorance they will abuse allah subhanahu wa taala i'm not abusing their gods i'm not insulting i'm asking a simple question who is this god simple question and the work is done i don't have to do phd in comparative religion simple question who is this god and the job is done but we muslim we are afraid you know if i do dawa with my non muslim i will lose his friendship we are more interested in keeping friendship with our friend than keeping friendship with allah subhanahu wa taala what happened to the muslim umma and believe me i speak openly i keep on traveling believe me my hindu friends respect me and if i happen to come on the airport in the customs that hindu customs officer tell you doctor zakir naik jo kahega sach kahega sach ke alawa kuch nahi kahega whatever he will say he will say the truth but nothing but the truth this is the oath we take in the when we go in the court of law when we want to give a witness in the court of law of india we say in hindi i'm sach kahega sach ke alawa kuch so he is telling on my behalf that whatever doctor zakir naik will say will say the truth nothing but the truth and they let me pass without check hindu i am not doing dawa so that they allow me to go but they respect me more when i go to the shopkeeper and the doctor zakir naik good discount they give me free <laughs> we muslims are afraid that if i do dawa i lose my business here mashallah i get better discounts simple i am not doing it for the discount please don't get me wrong <laughs> i am doing it for allah subhanahu wa taala and allah helps me and imagine now what you saw in the introduction the person told me that i am coming on the channel and mashallah millions of non muslims in india alone throughout the world there are tens of millions watching our channel non muslim mashallah the popularity has increased imagine in a voting of non muslim more than 1 billion people in india more than 1 billion the non muslims included they voted me the only religious preacher in the full list of 100 is a muslim preacher there is no hindu preacher 
the only religious preacher. There is no Hindu preacher in the full list of 100. There is no Shankaracharya. There is no Christian priest in the full list of 100. The first time any preacher, any religious preacher that came in the top 100 was a Muslim. In a country in which Muslims are minority, less than 20%. Why? Because of Dawah. We Muslims, we don't guide the non-Muslim, leave us at that. We become party to them. For example, now, within a few months, you will have Christmas coming. Now, many of us Muslims, when we meet the Christians, we say, Merry Christmas! Want to increase the friendship. When you are saying Merry Christmas, what are you doing? You are giving Shahada Nauz Billah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son on the 25th of December. Leave aside correcting them. When you say Merry Christmas to your Christian friends, you are giving shahada. You are bearing witness that knows billah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begot a son on the 25th of December. Leave aside correcting them, you are becoming party to them. It is so easy. If it's Christmas time, only thing you have to ask them, that why do you celebrate Christmas? So they'll tell you it is the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon Who is this Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Oh, Jesus Christ is Almighty God. Immediately, your dawa starts. That there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God or why he says worship me. If any Christian can show me any verse in the Bible, any unequivocal statement, any unnumbing statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that he is God or worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple. Make it a merry day for them. Where is the question of you agreeing? Many of the Christians, they love me. Many of the Christians, they revere me, they respect me. Many non-Muslims, they tell me that after watching Peace TV, we have come to know more about religion than what we learned in the past 40, 50 years. They respect me, they love me. Why are you afraid? It is the duty that every Muslim should convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the non-Muslims.